Hello, all you hardcores. Uh, how are you doing? Welcome to part two with uh, Aberdeen Andy. He's uh, he's just joined Aberdeen Andy. That's what he's calling this. Son. He's just joining us now, Aberdeen Andy. How are you doing, Andy? Look at that. Look at that. Connected quick at the end of the night. Yeah. Uh, I'll, just, I'll, just give a, I'll just give a quick shout out to a fellow Yorkshire man of yours. A guy, a big Andy Bear, so I work with. He's always laughing at me, you know, when I will get connected up in time when I do these videos. So, so Andy, get out, oh. Andy. I've got connected tonight. <laughs> yeah. Does he live up your way, Ian? Yeah, I work with him. He's, uh, he's from Bradford originally, yeah. Really? Mm. Uh, okay. Uh, there's four undisputed world champions at the moment. Crawford, Canelo, Charlo and Devin Haney. Uh, but Devin Haney is not looking to fight. Uh, Javonta Davis is looking. What's that in background? Oh shit! Sorry. That's it. That's better. Right. Uh, I couldn't hear it because I had my headphones on. Right. Uh, what I'm saying is Devin Haney is looking to fight pro grade, uh, uh, a heavier weight. You know, moving up a weight. So, yeah. uh, which is. I don't know. I don't know if I'm happy about that. But I'd like to see him fight Javante Davis. But if he fights Progre, Eddie wants to put it on on the same night as Fury and Garner. What do you think to that? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's uh, it's probably clever on his part, isn't it? He's trying to. He's obviously ah, he's he's doing that deliberately, isn't he? It happens yeah. now and again when when they all put fights on. I, I disagree with it, but he's kind of poking. Pointing the finger, saying you're not having a real fight, so we'll just put someone else on instead, isn't it? You know what? I'm going to back him on this. He's not my cup mm. of tea, is he? Obviously, I mean, if it, he won't get through my front door. And if I ever seen him in a pub and he got a bit smart, smart me with me, I'd just drown him in his drink, and then it's up to him yeah. what he wants to do, then, isn't it? Uh, Test his more his wig out. Yeah, no messing about. I'm not bothered. He's <laughs> about nine inches taller. <laughs> And about eight stone heavier. There's no way he's 16, 17 stone. He's a 19 clamour. Uh, he's going to get drowned in a stellar with black currants if he sees me out. And he gets <laughs> no messing about, but I'm going to back him on this. If he does that, I ain't got a problem with it because it's into boxing match, is it? What he's doing is giving fans an option, isn't he? Have a yeah, real fight. Doing. And what, what are they piggybacking on the bit of hype, aren't they? Because they can't. Help themselves. The problem is the Hearn family and the Warren family have been trying to outdo each other for the best part of 36 years, haven't they? What an happening, Chip, isn't it? Well, listen, if they've put 12, if they've put in 12 years, they've put, what is it, 10 or 11 fights? So it, it, it works out at a fight every 14 months since Eddie's been a promoter. And that's only because they've been mandated for them, the fights, isn't it? Yeah. It ain't like they've been ones that they've worked out amongst themselves, or well, there might be a couple, like, but other than mm. that, they've not really gone into bat for us now. If you think about it, if they could have given us four a year, we'd have had about 50 fights, wouldn't we? We'd have been very, yeah. very happy men, wouldn't we? We probably That's wouldn't it. be getting about them on here all the time, would we? That's it, and they'd, and they'd make good money out of it, so it's just it's just the pride thing, isn't it? That's... So, you know, when they start negotiations for, like, Bricktop was sending... Uh, emails to Eddie saying, yeah, Frotch has beat Boote. And uh, we've got our guy, Nathan Cleverly, he's willing to drop down to 172 and uh, and you can fight for Nathan belt. And if you lose, you can still go fight. Keep, keep your IBF belt. So Eddie said, yeah, we're going in a different direction and all that. Never even get it a thought. Carl would have ran yeah. over him, Nathan Cleverly. would have run over right. him. Yeah. Gone right through him, innit? Like an hot knife through butter. Do you know what I mean? He would have gone through him and then said, Go tell your mate Joe Calzaghi, that's what he would have got. So Frost yeah. went up for it, but Eddie didn't want to go that route. He didn't want to work with Bricktop. So I'm not going to blame Bricktop. I think Eddie's the problem with them working together. Because I think yeah. at times Bricktop's been a bit desperate and he's looked like desperate. And, and he said, oh, I don't want to give him a leg up. Well, Book's on the other foot now. So why can't we just work together to make the fights? For the good of the fans, eh? Well, what did Bricktop used to say? For the fans. That's it. Do me a favour, Bricktop. 
They've battened down the archers and they're just going to take it on the chin. They've got tin hats on. We're all firing bullets on when they've got the tin hats on. They're not mm. bothered. They're having it off. They're going to... Listen, you've got to be have some brass neck in this game, haven't you? Look at John Fury, Tyson <laughs> and Tommy. Do you think they're bothered about what people think? Do you think they're bothered? No. No. I don't think so, no. no. Not one iota are they bothered. Just... The brass neck on them is unreal. John Fury is one of them people in a restaurant that will never pay for his food, you know. He'll wait for him to pay. And he, hey, listen, mate, he won't pay for his food. The brass neck on him, when people call him tight and they say, you'll never pull up, you. Just laugh it off, the brass neck on them. John Fury's <laughs> must somewhere, right? And when he leaves, he leaves with a coat, a pair of trainers, <laughs> oh, I know houses he's been to when he said, you ain't got a bit of, you ain't got a bit of petrol money for me to get on, have you? <laughs> <laughs> they have to leave. You think I'm joking? They have to leave. He has to leave with something, John. Right? He's, he's draining their deep fat fryer to get away. <laughs> fill the car up to get home. I remember <laughs> listening to this and somebody telling me this story. He went to a he went to a brick top press conference years ago, right? And he left me alone. <laughs> He left with a load of Box Nation T-shirts. The Tyson says, what are you going to do with them, Dad? He says, I'm going to wear them. <laughs> because it's hope for hope. Well, that's it. It's a tecker. Mm. If, uh, if, he, if he cared what people thought, he'd be going a bit like Bricktop raging permanently. <laughs> Bricktop, listen. Bricktop's bully. If you have a Bricktop, right, listen, you know when Bricktop loses his court, it's because he knows he's wrong. They know they're wrong, but they laugh it off because mm. they've got more brass neck than Bricktop. Bricktop's supposed to be the guy that's going to turn boxing around. But he ain't, Andy. What he's done is realised that if you can't beat him, join him. I'm Bricktop and I'm late to the party. So I'm just going to put events on in Saudi and I'm not bothered if Saudis throw gays off at 10 story skyscrapers. Ooh. Legs yeah. first, head first. I'm not bothered. I'm getting paid. I'm putting events on. They can bring stubble, whatever. I want it all. I'm having it all. And they batten down the hatches, put the tin hats on. <laughs> no, they're taking it on chin, but everybody thought Bricktop were going to sort it all out, didn't they? Oh, at least Bricktop's mm. boxing, isn't it? He hadn't. All he's done is rolled over and got his nose in the trough. Yep. He put his nose in the trough. He's late to party. There's a bit of food left in the trough, and he's going to snap up lot. And when next load of food comes, he's going to have it all. And that's why he's got, <laughs> all in, he's got Joyce and Zang in position with WBO. The winner is mandatory, and he'll have options on winner, right? Then he's got the other one, Debar, he's fighting Usyk. The only one he ain't got to do is Ergovic, and that's Eddie's and Callas. Mm. <laughs> so Usyk's got no choice. He's a workman now. He's got three fights on trot, three mandatories, but he'll do all them, Usyk. Then Easy. he might fight Tyson at end, but he'll have males mm. on clock by the time he gets to Tyson, while Tyson's faffing about with Chisora, Dylan White, and Engano, people who are shot to bits or can't box. Yeah. You see what I mean? So that's probably the plan. But who's to say that that plan won't get derailed? It's heavyweight boxing. It might never happen. So look, why don't they strike mm. while the iron's on and fight now? Because Tyson that. wants it all his own way, Andy. That's it. I get the impression if you were having a game of Monopoly with Bricktop and it, things weren't going his way, he'd just tip the table up and <laughs> storm yeah. out the room, wouldn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Not because you bought all of them on Park Lane and Bond Street. And he's, <laughs> and he's ended up with Islington and Old Kent Road. <laughs> and he keeps landing on Park Lane and you've got two hotels on us. I always land in that go to jail, do not pass go. Do not <laughs> I'll tell you what's a good buy at Monopoly. Nobody ever buys on the old Park Lane, don't they? And Bond Street, Mayfair. By I buy all the stations. Waterboard. Waterboard. And ah, the what? Company. Yeah. And all the railway stations. Buy all them. Yeah. 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 Trains. They're yeah. in the middle, aren't they? On board on each. In middle yeah. That's it. Hello. Yeah. Roberto Tell Smith. What's his role in all this? And should they come out tomorrow and make a statement now and put all this to bed? Yeah. Without a doubt. Right. They need to, need to draw a line under it, don't they? To say one way or another what's happening. Yeah. Because it's just dragging, it's just a saga, isn't it? It's just dragging on and on. It'll be next week, it'll be next week, it'll be next week, and next week never comes, does it? 
What do you think about uh, Dylan White's level at the moment? Is he English, British, or Commonwealth level or European? Um, British, I would say. But I think Fabio Wardley would do him now. Yeah, I do. I think, I think Wardley would do him. Do him. I think Dave Allen and kid Dylan White are on for his money as yeah. well. Could be a good rematch, eh? Yeah, yeah recycled, what happens, but... recycled rematches. That's what we want, isn't it? Yeah, recycled. <laughs> recycled in the green garbage. Bin. Out the green bin, into the ring. <laughs> yeah. that uh, desperate for more, more money. Eh? Just want to see Dave Allen get a payday. Eh? You want him to get a good payday. Dave Allen gets else, a payday. Eh? He owns half a Cuddy's bro, mate. Does he? Eh? Yeah, he's not short of money, Dave. You don't spend ah. it, does he? You don't, <laughs> does he? You don't get Dave <laughs> Allen on a Saturday night and sniffed out his head drinking Stella, do you? <laughs> he doesn't spend no. All he buys is lion bars. <laughs> Campbell, Hans Fro- Campbell, Hans of Paul Matson. Do you think he'll end up in Hall of Fame like Froch? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> he'll end up in the Hall of Pain. I think. No, I don't yeah. see that happening. No, I no. don't see. I'd like. To, hopefully, he can do well, but it's another gimmick, isn't it? Really, but. What do you think yeah. to that? Your son coming back? Well, coming, coming, uh, turning pro. Right. So. Am I am I right in saying he's not even had an amateur fight? Is that is that correct? I don't know about that. Uh, he's done loads of sparring, but ah, yeah. Just because your dad's a boxer, don't mean to say you're gonna be a boxer. I mean, look at Joe yeah. Fraser, one of the greatest, probably top five heavyweights of all time, and then you've got from Joe Fraser, who beat Ali, Gid Ali's first defense, his son Marvis Fraser couldn't knock an end over as powerful no, yeah. as his cream egg. Yes. You know what I mean? <laughs> Larry Holmes just for oh, he he just battered him in a round and then Tyson annihilated him, didn't he? In nineteen seconds or something, was it? Mike Tyson put him into all. Oh just he just just about took his head off with that uppercut, didn't he? That was yeah. second in, right? Second in, huh? Yeah. But his old man should never have put him in there, eh? That's, is that bravado and his old man just try to do what he can't do anymore, think my son can do it and then it's that's dangerous, eh? That is dangerous, but um what do you think no. of Callum Johnson coming back at Cruiserweight? And what would you think about his chance against a Coley in, in a comeback? You know, if you're Coley, wanted to roll the dice again. A Coley's, he's got the tributes, the size and that, but he's too slow. I think I said to you before, when he was fighting the, the last fight, who was he fighting? One in Portsmouth that he lost, the double barrel name guy. I forget his name. Chris um, Smith. Bill Smith. His backhand was just pedestrian, eh? It's just like when you compare that to Zhang's backhand, eh? Zhang's backhand was just bang, it's like rapid. This was he was just he was just too slow and too sloppy and just nah, nah. I would Callum Johnson would I think Callum Johnson would do him, I think. Yeah. I think so. I do as well. And I think Callum Johnson at Cruiserway, I think the timing's right, his experience is right. Yeah, fair enough, he's, you know, he's knocking on a bit in age. Mm. Uh, what is he, 38 or something? Something like that, isn't he? But mm. he's very talented. And he reminds me of, you know, like you know, like an E-type Jag with about 50,000 mile on clock, something like that, you know, that purrs. Yeah, mm. it's 50,000 mile on clock, but it's still good for another 50, you know, that kind of thing. Mm. And he reminds me of that, I think. And he's got a good temperament, a good pedigree. He's a Commonwealth gold, isn't he? So I think yeah. he can do something at Cruiserweight. It's a division that nobody gives a hoot about because it's basically Poland. Yeah. It's full of huggers, yeah. isn't it? But yeah. I think he could liven it up because he's not willing, to, he, sorry, he's willing to throw the lever, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah, that'd be good. Good to see him. I think he'd like he'd like the division up, make it exciting, Callum. Yeah, yeah, that's what we need, isn't it? We need some more excitement in the dull divisions. Yeah, I think he'd do. I think he'd do well. He's an hard trainer, and why not? He's got a good trainer. Yeah, he's done well with him, Joe. I think it's been mm-hmm. stop start for him, hasn't it? But they've done well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, he could he could like, he held his own with beat of beef, didn't he? Mm-hmm. You know, he's a pound for pound guy, beat you, but it'd be a shame for Callum Johnson to oh, retire. Yeah, 
Yeah, Beater Beef is a he's a special talent. He's no spring chicken either. Beater Beef is he? No, see weight thirty, see thirty eight. He's a light heavy though, isn't he? Beater Beef, isn't he? Yeah, weight heavy, aye. Yeah. How do you think Callum Smith goes on against Beater Beef? Mm, nah, I think, I think he'll get stopped later on. I think. Yeah. Mm, I think so. We good if he could do do something, but you can't say Beater that Beef's, about Callum Smith. He's one at Beatles. He's one of the Beatles, aye. <laughs> You can't say that. He's been golf star, man. <laughs> <laughs> golf star. I, 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 I'd like to see him uh, beat be a, be a beef, but I just quite, can't quite see it. Just... Have you ever tweeted Paul Smith of the Smiths, the legendary Liverpool Smiths? Jim Royal. Jim Royal, a.k.a. Jim. <laughs> Have you ever uh, tweeted him? Uh, I'm not actually on Twitter. There's a few of my friends tell me to get on Twitter, but I've, never, I've just never got around to doing no, it. No, years yeah. ago, before he fought Andre Ward, I've tweeted him, Paul Smith, wishing him all the best, because I was a bit of a Paul Smith groupie back in there. You know, we were a middleweight. Yeah. He got beat by Stevie Bendel, didn't he? And then decided he was a super middle and all that. But listen, if he'd have got that decision, his, his life might have still been, might have been a lot better success-wise with boxing, because he might have stayed at middle. Yeah, I mean, mm. but once you once you move once you move super middle, it were a game over for him, I think. So I think the discipline were there to, to stop eating. Mm. So I think, Andy. But what do you think about him as a boxer in general? I tweeted and wished him all the best, and he blocked me against Ward, and he then missed the scales by about mm. seven pound. Were it six seven? Ah, I remember that? I was I was wild, wasn't it? About a wild fucking wave weight. Uh... Way over there. Eh? It's like he didn't care, eh? It's just going, is he going to turn it up for the paycheck? Or? It's disappointing. Why would he block you when you're wishing him well? That's a bit mad, isn't it? That's... A couple of us did, honestly. I wished him well. And after that, I've just gone after him. I said, Paul Smith, ah, it's... he's a turnip. Ah. That's disappointing, isn't it? When you... I was really disappointed. In fact, I was bordering hmm. on nearly crying. But uh, I'm over it now. I'm over Paul Smith now. And then when, obviously, he, uh, he fought George Groves, our team, George, one of team, mm-hmm. team De Gale, when he fought him. And then he fought Abraham twice, Ward and Zuga, lost all them. So lost he lost six them. fights against world champions, former, current and future. Norton six, mixing mm-hmm. at top level. So he, didn't plenty have offers. he didn't have it, plenty though, of, did he? He didn't have it. Plenty of opportunities, eh? But... Six opportunities there. Yeah, some fighters only get one opportunity if they're lucky at a world title, man. Groves de Gale, Zuga, Ward, and twice Abraham, all world mm. champions before. I know Groves and de Gale never had a world title online before, I mean, and Ward didn't, but Ward were up as pound for pound money at the time. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Paul Smith should have been privileged to be in that ring and he should have took some weight up in fight week. But what happens is, I've been reading a book about it this week, when a fighter. What what he does in in fight week if he thinks he can't beat somebody who's supposed to be really good and all that they just the body shuts down the brain and that and they don't have mm. any go in them and I think that's what that's what happened it became daunting for him and he just mm. thought you know what I just want to get in there fight and get out alive so I'm gonna have a bit of weight on and I'm not bothered with fine but after the fight obviously he went and put it on ward didn't he and groveling and. Saying I want to put my kid through school and blah blah blah. Ward just waving it fine, and he see the gentleman. Yeah, yeah. Paul, Paul Smith, he got away with murder that day. But let me tell you this: if I'd have been going to the corner, I'd have said, "Yeah, get gone. You miss weight, not mm. by a pound, by half a stone." That's half a stone. That's another weight. What weight division? Isn't it? I'd have said, "Do one." And then he had cheek to come out with. Yeah, uh, after the fight, yeah, he felt my power early. Well, what? What round did you feel your power? Because I didn't see you land a fucking shot. Maybe, uh, maybe one of the maybe one of the shots. Remember that Bruce Seldon, uh, uh, Mike Tyson threw Bruce Seldon about over the top of his head and he fell over. <laughs> he felt the power. He just felt the draft off it. Maybe. Unbelievable. <laughs> phantom punch. Hey. A phantom punch. Phantom something, <laughs> isn't it? Jeez. <laughs> Hey, oh, <laughs> are you are you over it now from your Nokia experience? Do you like it? 
Oh, it was good. I, I go there quite regular, but uh, I probably wouldn't have gone that day if the Cobra hadn't been there. I wanted to meet him, because, eh, like I said, he's a, he's a bit of a boxing hero of mine. Eh, so. uh, oh, what, uh, well, you know, when you were up there, what, what area is it in? Ayrshire? Not Kills and Fife. Is that where you are, Fife? Fife, that's in Fife. That's where Not Kill is. It's about half an hour from Perth. Yeah. How far are you from Aberdeen? Well, from Aberdeen, that's about... Uh, you be talking two hours probably in a car, eh? Yeah. Mm. Oh, aren't you near oil rigs and in Aberdeen? Sorry? Aren't you near any oil rigs? No, oh, there's oil, oil rigs out in sea, but they're all off, offshore, aren't they? So why does it say Aberdeen Andy on your profile? Because you called me, you you said I was from Aberdeen, but I'm from oh, Perth. Are, aren't you? <laughs> are you from Aberdeen? No, where are you from? <laughs> You're making me sound like I'm some retard. <laughs> no, from Perth, I just thought it was funny, so I just called myself out. I'm like, I'm like, is it low? No, 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 not at all. The low stuff. Is that Bamber Gas? Is that what you call Bamber Gas going? Is it? All right. Did you, oh, is it? Nah. Yeah. I, do, I, I do go up to Aberdeen now and again, though. No, I go up that way. I once seen him in a pickup, you know, burning off from Peter Fury's gym at Bolton. True story. <laughs> Burning off. Him and his missus, his missus were driving in a pickup. <laughs> it's a true story, mate, honestly. Uh, true story, yeah. We're doing a bit of training down there. Eyes at low, burning off in a smiley face. <laughs> <laughs> you are. Tires, tires. All right, all right. To be fair to Ice, he gets a lot of stick. He's a decent lad. He's up for uh, Matt. Yeah, he's he comes right. across as quite cheery, doesn't he? Uh, he's all right, like he's a. It's a good night out, you know, they recognise it. Ah. Plenty rattling that. You can imagine him bouncing about, can't you, out of his brains. <laughs> <laughs> you imagine have walking you... about and that. And, uh, have you had out eyes that now I had no me chewing out <laughs> the face off? <laughs> eyes at low, spe- eyes at low when they go up piss, has to hold it all, doesn't he? Each stash, man. Isn't he? You hold that, Isaac. So. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have a good time, and if anybody gets caught, it's in your pocket. He's one of them men, isn't he, Isaac? You've only got uh, to want you to see that. <laughs> but he's a nice he, enough, but uh, I don't think he wins a world title. No, no. And I think Jordan Gill puts him on Planet Orbit. But he's a nice enough fella. I have a good laugh at his tweets that people send me, because he can't write, can he, or spell properly. Uh, I think he's funny. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think he's pushing boat out a little bit now, and they're trying to do it all the time. Do you know what I mean? Because that's his uh, moniker in it now, Isaac. Yeah, the man can't tweet. Uh. The man who <laughs> spells biscuit with a K. <laughs> <laughs> hey, unbelievable! Uh, Dylan White, Joshua, how do you see it going, Andy? I think Joshua needs to stop him in six rounds and make a statement, but. I can see Joshua getting caught early and going into his shell and then just try to box within himself. But I think Joshua's got more left than the can man, eh? I think Franklin beat the can man, eh? I've said that before, but um, I think Joshua should deal with him. I think he's got more left in the tank. Um, yeah, I do. And Joshua can throw an uppercut if he puts his mind to it. So that seems to be the, the punch that takes the, the can man out, isn't it? Pavetkin and uh, uh, Fury both took him out with uppercuts, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, mm-hmm. we're going to see, aren't we? We're going to see, but uh, it's all good stuff, isn't it? It's all good stuff. Where do you see uh, Tyson Fury in 12 months from now, Andy? Um, on Netflix, maybe. <laughs> I've got to go through all that. Oh, carry on ne- oh. Netflix. I, I, I never watch anything like that, so that'll no affect me. And 12 months from now, um, he would hope he was going to fight Usyk, but they're going to mess about and mess about. So who else is he going to fight? Is he going to fight uh, the winner of Joyce Zhang or or maybe Martin Bacoli or somebody like that? Well, Joyce is thirty eight, isn't it? Zhang's forty. So that so if they fought, it would be six. It would be next year. So they'd be even older. And yeah, you that'll, that'll that that. wanting that, would you? Wanted to fight somebody, you know? Wow. Well, yeah, that could be they could be ideal fights for him by then, couldn't they? But um yeah. They're both uh, 
yeah, they're not they're not fast mover. Though I think Joyce has got good footwork. Uh, though he wasn't using it to his best advantage against Zhang, was he? Uh, moving the wrong direction. Julian pointed that out uh, before the fight, didn't he? He pointed out that Joyce moves to his right, which would suit Zhang, and and he did, didn't he? And just uh, Zhang must have thought, oh, it's Christmas as they come at once. Well, he must have thought something, mate. But uh, mm. I think Zhang's a good fighter. He doesn't move his head that much, does he? he just moves it off yeah, line. Just enough. He throws it, a punch and he moves his head about six inches either side, doesn't he? Just think, enough, eh? Just I think enough. that's brilliant, me, that deal. Yeah, and I thought he beat Hergovic, so you could say Zhang's unbeaten, really. In my mind, anyway. I thought he beat Hergovic. Hergovic was... I thought if Hergovic was struggling with him at times. Eh? Yeah, I thought that as well. But I thought, and Hergovic is a big guy, isn't he? Eh? Hergovic is a big guy as well, isn't he? He's as big as Joyce, isn't he? Zhang's a big 20 clammer, six foot six. Oh, aye. Aye. He's a monster. Like really, you yeah. sat on you, would you? No. Squash you, he'd squash you, wouldn't he? Where do you think, where do you think uh, Zhang can go to if he beats Joyce? Do you think he can beat Usyk? No. Aye. I think Usyk's, Usyk's movement's amazing, isn't it? He's, he never stops moving, does he? In his perpetual motion and just. This doesn't stop, does he? I think he would just outbox Zhang. He's not going to stop Zhang, but he would outbox him over 12 rounds. I think... I say Zhang, Zhang would have some success, but not enough to trouble Usyk, I think. Yeah, well, we're going to see, aren't we? We're going to see, but I just think Zhang's a good fighter. What do you think to that? That's good, yeah. Frank Sanchez and uh, what do you think to him? I've seen a lot of him, to be honest, but uh, he gets a decent rating, I think, doesn't he? Jared Anderson. Stay, stay him. Yeah, he's he's good, but he's still he's still a bit green at the moment, isn't he? He's no, uh, yeah. he's he's still got learning to do. I mean, Charles Martin, bro, well, that was a decent performance for Charlie Martin, but he that was probably a good fight for uh, Jared Anderson at this stage. Yeah, go the distance and. You probably learn more from that fight than just going in and blowing him away in one or two rounds, eh? Yeah, yeah. Do you know what? Do you know that Charlie Martin win for Joshua? It's looking a bit better now than it were, isn't it? Yeah, I think Charlie Martin's a better fighter now than he was then, isn't he? I think he's a better fighter than people made out. I don't think he were a great champion because he got the belt by default, didn't he, really? Uh, guy hurt his knee or something, was it? Is that my right in saying that? Yeah. It was Tyson's belt, really. They shouldn't even be fighting for it anymore, that other mug, should they? No. But uh, I, I think he's uh, I think he's better than what people make out, Charlie Martin. I think him against Dylan White would be a good fight. Yeah, I think he'd beat Dylan White, yeah. Do you? I think he might, yeah. Mm-hmm. Dylan White has got a world class left up, you know. Mm-hmm. World class left up, Dylan White. But it's, he's got slow footwork, though, isn't he? His footwork's not the way. I don't think his balance is great either. Hand, he? Ah, his, his balance isn't great and his footwork isn't great. I don't you know think, why his but, footwork's yeah. not very good. Because he's too heavy. All <laughs> beef jerky that he eats. <laughs> <laughs> Beef jerky. <laughs> That's all they lived on, isn't it? Dylan White, beef jerky, beef jerky sandwiches, pop, pop, bang. <laughs> he wants no part of Martin Bacoli anyway. He was uh, calling him out, wasn't he? Martin Bacoli. What, in that shopping was... centre? <laughs> Wouldn't he come back down the stairs, would he? Couldn't he you find like the Martin Bacoli? I like Martin Bacoli, yeah. I remember uh, I watched him getting beat by uh, Michael Hunter. Yeah. And I thought I kind of, I kind of felt a bit sorry for him then uh, when he when he got beat by Hunter. Right? He was just a bit outmanoeuvred, eh? a bit bamboozled. But that was earlier on in his career. I think he's improved since then. So it'd be good to see him. Uh, good to see if he could do do something now. Eh? But... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's. Uh... I think he, he, I think he's a he's a decent skill set, isn't he? You're only saying that because he's an adopted jock. He's a. Uh... <laughs> Aren't you? I think he's is it, I think he's from Doncaster in Scotland or something. Oh, he's <laughs> hey, listen, he didn't bottle it out. He didn't bottle it with Dylan White, did he? Sorry, he didn't bottle it with Dylan White, did he? Oh no, no, he was he was going nowhere, was he? He was uh, a million white, wasn't he, for coming back? Though he was he was 
making any. He's calling Martin Akoli some terrible names and that. Hey, I don't know what he was yeah, Dylan White's making. Akoli. Do you know what Dylan White does at shows? He struts about, right, with uh, uh, three or four people around him, yeah. And if he's got uh, any beef with anybody, these people go deal with it, don't they, for him? They'll, they'll pin you up against the wall or give you a slap or threaten you. Dylan won't uh, That's what do Dylan that. does. I'd love to bump into Dylan White at the show and all them stand around me. Because you know what I'm like. I'd just say, listen, you need to do one and go bring more men. <laughs> Go and get the rest of your army. <laughs> Fuck your last team flying over the boat. <laughs> get pigs fly, you had the can. <laughs> I think what we'll do, we'll stick Dylan White and his and his fake brother on thumbnail for this video, we'll liven it up a bit, eh? Long, Bert and Ernie. Long and hard, you man. <laughs> Wallow and hard, <yeah. laughs> but one, one of them is, is that... telling us he's... Oh, he's a world champion in the making, and he's this, is that, blah, de, blah. He's got a vacant British, we in Lewinson on mantelpiece. Other one doesn't even know his real name. He's on about changing it to. Uh, <laughs> he's on about changing it to Dean Crawford. <laughs> <laughs> from from Dean Pavetkin. Dean Pavetkin. <laughs> <laughs> Be Dean Usyk next. Uh, Dean, how you say? <laughs> Dean Usek, Pavetkin, Bacoli. <laughs> Ian Lewinson, that's who... Uh, did Joe Joyce have his debut against him? All right, see him. Yeah, Ian Lewinson fought Dylan White for vacant British and uh, Dylan White won on points, didn't he? But, mm. Yeah, it's all good fun, isn't it? We just try and have a hearty banter out it all, don't we? That's it, you have a laugh, that's it. Well, I have to do because look, I'm a serious person about boxing and people shouldn't say to me, oh, we're going to make this fight, we're going to make that. I say, listen, I'll put it in my book. You've said it now and this is the time. <laughs> okay. When is it happening? Let me know. Right, so I need to ring you in three weeks to check if this is done. Then they go, oh, oh well, well, no, it's finalised. And I say, this is, I'd, I'd weigh them all up after three or four me. So listen, so you full of shit then. <laughs> so, oh, mate. What, 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 what we're doing, just sat here chatting shit, three regular guys, me, Dennis, <laughs> and some other bloke, chatting a load of nonsense about boxing. Why don't these people just say, let's all go meet for a coffee in a, in a Lacoste shop, have a bit of carrot cake, and chat a load of bollocks? I'm up for that, but don't that's tell it. me we're going to do this and do that because I take it to art. That's it, because... Uh, that's why, that's I, why I can't get on with Dennis all the time. Because he says things and then go, then no happens. And then I pull him up on about it and he goes, oh, you're not off again, are you? So no, no, I'm not the one going around spreading nonsense. And then can't... But you've got, if you've got somebody that's true to their word, you respect that. Remember, uh, oh, way back in the 70s, Evil Knievel, you know, the, the, the daredevil motorcycle yeah. guy. He was a great guy for say, if, if he said he was going to do something, he'd, he'd do it. When he came to Wembley to jump... Uh, I think it was 13 Jubilee double decker buses. Jubilee year he came to Wembley, didn't he? It's yeah, 1977. And he went down and looked at it. He'd be out all night. Dr- buses, wasn't it? I think it was 13. Because he was 13. out. He'd, be, he'd been out all night drinking and turned up the next day. And he went to see the jump. And he says, oh, I can't jump that far. And uh, But he said, and they said, oh, I'll take a bus away or take a couple of buses away. He says, no, 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 no. He said, I said, I'll do it. So I'll do it. And then it started raining, I think, when he was going down the ramp. Like the ramp to, I think he came up from the stadium, top of the stadium, right down to the jump, and it started raining. And he couldn't quite get the speed up, and he, and he hit the last bus. I think he burst his pelvis and everything when he landed there. Eh? So he, he was right; uh, he couldn't jump that far. But uh, but he said he was going to do it. It's the same with the, uh, you know, when he tried to jump that canyon, the Snake River Canyon, and that uh, rocket thing, the uh, sky cycle, I think they called it. Yeah. But. Uh, he, he thought he knew before he did it there was there was like a 50 50 chance where he was going to make it or no but he said he was going to do it so he, so <laughs> so he did it so he was a man of his word eh? but you got to admire that about him even though it didn't always go to plan <laughs> is, that what, is that what you do all night andy watch evil can evil on you evil can evil <laughs> i've still work. got my evil can evil my evil can evil bike you know the one you want <laughs> oh don't get your evil can evil bike <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. It's, 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 it's bad enough for the Astro Wars last week. <laughs> Eddie Kidd did a jump, you know, Eddie Kidd. And, oh, uh, aye, aye. So far, he, he, he cleared where he needed to clear and he kept going and it's oh, uh, oh, uh, like a banking or something, didn't he? 
Yeah, and it wasn't. A, I think he had bigger smashes, and but he ended up brain damage. That was tragic. I think it was. Uh, was it Long Marston or something? Or, uh, Airfield. It was a big it was. Jump. Jump. Yeah. Oh, aye. Big, and didn't he jump. do Great Wall of China as well? That were even bigger, wasn't it? He did die. He did die. And, and him and Evil can Evil Son did what it was a, a world championship in America. Who could jump the furthest? And Eddie could beat him. Eh? Eddie could beat uh, Robbie can Evil. Yeah. For me. Uh, yeah. We've spoke about Dylan White. We spoke about Joshua. Uh, Deontay Wilder. What is he doing? Because he's inactive now and he's knocking on. He needs. Him. Needs a fight, doesn't he? Needs a fight. I'd like to see him fight Reese. I think that would be a good fight. Because uh, Reese has got a decent chin, hasn't he? And he's uh, because he's shorter, it, it would make an interesting matchup, I think. But um, whether it's got this, it's happening. It's not happening. It's happening. It's not happening. It's just back and forth. Isn't it? It's, it needs to be. And then there's this Saudi money, I think, stagnating things with him as well. He's signed up with the Saudis, hasn't he? Yeah. So he needs to fight. He needs to fight somebody soon. I would say. There's a while since he fought the isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's knocking out of it now, but good fight to the Wilder. Yeah, he it's exciting, isn't he? And I've seen him, even though he got beat by Fury in the, the third fight they had, I've seen improvements over the previous fights that he had with Fury uh, but, uh, since he tied up with Malik Scott. I did see it, even though he lost, but I could see improvements on him in that fight. Yeah, I could. All right, then, Andy. Well, listen, we've had a good chat. I hope you're well. Yeah. Good man. Uh, these are going to go out Tuesday, 6 o'clock and 7 o'clock, all right? Yep. That Don't forget good. to like and subscribe, everybody. All uh, right, like and subscribe and press the notification button. That way, you get your Porky fix straight to your phone. It says you're emailing me on porkycorner at mail.com and say, Porky, you put five videos out, I can't find the third one. Well, they're all out on the same day, pop, pop, bang. <laughs> if you press your notification button, you know about it, won't you? Did you know? I was just looking here, right? It's on 27,000 different accounts Use my channel last month. And less than half of them subscribe, so either they don't know how to do it or they don't want to give me the coolness, but it don't matter. Because you're watching. That's it. <laughs> Get me them watch time hours. It's not about views, it's about watch time hours. Watch time hours, that's it. It's not about views, it's how long people watch it for and subscribers they just don't understand it, do they? Watch time yeah. hours is what we need. A view is a yeah. view. But are you watching for 40 minutes or four? Watch time hours, forget views and subs. All right, I want to read about watch time hours. All right, because I know everybody watches and how long on here. So let's hear about watch time hours, not them that watch for one minute and get a view. <laughs> <laughs> I'll catch you in a week. Take care, Andy. Okay, mate. Take care. Have okay, a good one. Bye. bye.